everyone. In today's video I'm going to discuss one very simple trick. It's about dribbling and of course making this fly. Uh, and it's about ribbing one or the other way and why one way or the other are let's say better or different. So notice the ribs on this fly. Notice how they are positioned, how much you can see them. And now Let's notice the ribs on this fly. Obviously on this fly, even though the dubbing is a bit thicker, uh, ribs are showing better, like they're more visible. Uh, it's not the color, even though the, the white shows better than this gold, I guess. Uh, it's the direction of wrapping. And as I as I'm going to tie this fly, I'm going to explain this. So first of all, I'm going to put hook in device. Hook is size 14, uh, paired with the tungsten bead in three millimeters. Uh, wire is this one in small. It's gold, and I like gold paired with green. It just feels right nothing else it's just my personal preference here I'm not big fan of gold beads I mean you probably notice that but I'm big fan of gold wire sometimes as now uh, for the thread I'm going to use nano silk and two reasons uh, came to my mind for at first uh, it's obviously uh, I, I want less bulk and more control when I'm uh, placing the the legs but uh, one more important reason is that because of the weather right now it's dry outside and uh, uh, skin is getting cracked and cracked skin on fingers can fray thread so if, if I was using for example UTC thread uh, cracked skin can just definitely fray my thread and, and ruin the whole experience of tying uh, to make it adhere to the hook better I'm going to just run it through the wax twice, that's enough, and then just start regular way. So this is uh, Semperfly Nano Silk in 18 through 0. And now I need it flattened, so I, I need it uh, to be neutral because of my next step. And that's tails okay I'm taking a couple of those and now you can just fold them or either fold them or roll them like this and this is rhyming without any intention so roll them to mix them a little bit because now this iridescent side will show all the all around and that's it I think I need to align so I'll place the tail where I want it I said I want neutral so flat thread because of more control here and run it through After I place my tail where I want it, I want wire. So because I'm wrapping this way, it's a conventional way, I'm going to wrap dubbing obviously, and I want to wrap dubbing counterclockwise now. Well, in counter direction, I will place wire on my near side. And by the end of the video, I will show you how it works both ways. So at this moment I'm going to counter wrap it as I would counter wrap pheasant tail. So I'll stop here. Okay. Now, as I was saying, I'll counter wrap it. I'll stop here because this is where I want my thorax to begin. So I'll just go slowly back and just here I'll add 
my dubbing. Dubbing is, let me just be accurate when describing it, it's Davy Watton's SLF and the color is, mm, I took it from where? Color is green olive. Yeah. So, just bit by bit, I'll work my way and I'll dub the noodle. Now, as I was saying, my, my hands are dry, so I'm having issues with dubbing uh, proper noodles here. Uh, but there is kind of solution. Uh, obviously, the best solution is to use hand cream, which I don't have habit to use. And honestly, I hate to use. Another, like, more uh, immediate uh, solution would be to use dubbing wax. So my friend is making this dubbing wax. Well, at least he was. So I'll just tap my finger here, just to give it a little bit of friction, and it helps. If you do, if you put too much, uh, you'll make the dubbing, and that's far from what you want. So after I'm satisfied with the dubbing needle, it's a little bit tapered. It's nice and compact, not too thick. I'll just go and work my way towards the thorax nice green buggy nymph okay yeah now if my my wire was from this side i would go over the tail immediately but because it's not okay oh, it's going to be from it's avoiding the tail. Okay. So, as you can see, dubbing, it's not bearing into dubbing too deep. It's visible from all sides. That's the whole point of this method uh, where you counter wrap your wire over the dubbing. Well, most of us are used to do it with pheasant tail to wrap pheasant tail in one direction, in another direction goes ribbing because it makes it more durable. Well, same applies here. It makes it more durable, it makes it, makes it more visible, which is quite obvious now. Now for the legs, I'm going to use same feather as I used for the tail, which I forgot to, to present to you. And it's, I think it's a uh, chest feather from Peacock or some, uh, I'm not sure, like neck feather or chest feather, not sure, but it's a beautiful feather. It's a really, really beautiful feather. Uh, I just bought it because I liked it, and I, I, I literally had imagined nymph like this, as like when I, when I saw it online, that I can buy some of these. It's symmetrical, that's how I know how much I need to take. So I'll take, let's say, five barbs. Five barbs are more than enough to uh, make those legs. So I'm gonna use my right ha right hand because in this direction I want to use it. So I need don't need to transfer too much. I'll measure from the beginning of the tungsten until the end of the leg of the body. That's more or less how much I want legs to be long. So it's going to be here. Now again, very gentle wrap, two wraps, tighten, two, three, four, it's thin so I can allow myself four, cut, you don't need more. At this point you can just position them a little bit better where you want them, like so. Same goes to the other side, but now I have to take from this side the same amount. That's why I don't need to count on the second on the second row. And again, take it with your right hand because you don't need to manipulate it too much. Measure position. Oops. I didn't like it there. Okay. Okay, it runs again. Well, it's always possible to reposition it with your hands. Well, that's what I'm going to do now. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna cut the excess here. Trying not to cut legs, yeah. And the last is uh, Peak of Doving. This one is by Spirit River. And I love it because of the color, it's dark color. It's not a light Peak of Doving, which doesn't resemble Peak of all, if you ask me. Again, let's do a relatively compact dubbing noodle here. This dubbing is mm, not so subtle as I like it, but it's nice, it has nice color and it's okay. Uh, Chinese one, uh, Royal Sisi, uh, it has a weird name, I, I know they have pretty good dubbing. It's much finer, this one, it's much finer in diameter and it's much more easier to dub. Let me just try to show you here. I'll take out a little bit of this dubbing and so this is Royal CC here and this is the black one is the other one so you can maybe notice the difference in uh, fib fiber diameter here it's quite obvious uh, especially when you touch it now because it's a little bit unruly now I'll start wrapping it from the back side so here towards the front let me go here and when I come near I'll start grabbing those legs when you grab them position them you can tighten a little bit so grab position and then tighten and that's it a little bit of wax that's it we got ourselves a very nice buggy looking shiny nymph that has very cool materials and I'm sure it's going to get some fish now as I promised I'm going to do the opposite stuff and do it in the same direction this time I won't bother uh, putting the bead on I'll just do fast tapping here so no techniques involved but same wire so we make this experiment a little bit more accurate okay and now I'll do the same dubbing noodle I'll try to make it as even as possible like the previous one oh, this is too much okay And now if we go in the same direction, notice how the wire dives into the dubbing, especially near the thorax. Even though I used so many wraps, it's not nearly as visible as the previous one. Well, because there are so many wraps it is visible, but not that, that nice. It's buried inside. Uh, so it's not a big difference obviously it's not big an important difference but for those of you who want to know that well why not showing it and why not tying this nice and buggy looking nymph so guys I hope you like this video I hope you learned something new I would be happy if you if you did uh, until next time stay healthy safe and tight lines <laughs>